My goodness, ByteDance has been cooking. In just the span of, I think, the last seven days, ByteDance has released an update to 2.5 in preview, when 2.2 Animate, which is basically based on steroids. So today we're gonna do a quick first impressions of the brand new Quen Edit. But without further ado, let's dive right in. So the new Quen Edit model, also called 2509 or Quen Edit Plus, has been released on open source at a whopping 50 something gigabytes. And with it supposedly comes improved editing, improved image consistency, improved product editing, and most importantly, multi-image support, which the original Quen Edit did not have. This brings it up to par with Nano Banana and Seed Dance, which I have yet to cover on this channel because things are just coming out way too fast. So the model covers a bunch of stuff like Nano Banana, you can take multiple images put them together and get a final image you can put inputs like control net or products and again put them all together into a final image here are some cherry picked examples from bite dance however i ran a couple of my own quick tests earlier which we'll go through in just a moment so today is just a quick first impression i've already loaded up the model over on kaijugen so if you want to go and try it out it is available there you can just top it up with five bucks and start messing around with it. I will have a comfy UI video coming out in the next couple of days as it's both available via API now that comfy UI is a proper startup and is setting up partnership with all the model providers. And I'll also show you how to actually download and set up the model on your own local machine or on RunPod. For today though, you can grab Quen by making sure you've got image model selected. Head on over here on the right and you'll find Quen located with the other Quen models. And you'll see here Quen Image Edit Plus. That is the brand new model. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. If you come over here to images, you can pick up to six images to incorporate into the prompt and you can find any advanced parameters over here, including the safety checker, as I'm sure some of you are going to use that for salacious material. So the first thing I wanted to do when testing out the new Quen Edit was a experiment that I ran on Nano Banana, where we took six images and put them together into a single impressive image. Unfortunately, despite numerous attempts, Quen Edit Plus was not able to give me the result. I used the same prompt. I used different variations of the prompt. Uh, this is one of the better results. Here is another one. Again, this is a pretty good one. We've got the shoes. We've got the grand piano. You've got the ballroom, kind of. You've got the dress that I put in, but uh, we have an extra character over here. Uh, this one, I changed the prompt slightly to a create a cohesive luxury lifestyle image. Uh, it decided to animate it, and I think I tried it again over here. Uh, we got a slightly better one. I changed up some of the objects, like I changed the bag and I tweaked the prompt again. This is, again, a half decent one, except the horse is wearing the high heel over here. And as you can see, I just kept trying. I reduced the number of objects here and I reduced the prompt and it just kept struggling. This is, again, one of the better ones. I do like the cinematic effect here, but then we've got this high heel out in the middle of nowhere. And at this point, I just decided to super simplify. We kept it to just the woman, the dress and the heels. Super simplified prompt. And it does look a lot better with a lot less objects to deal with, but we're still ending up with these three images. I reran it again to see if we'd get a better response, but that prompt is just giving this result. However, don't be deterred. I just wanted to start with a very complex prompt. It didn't do well, but the model did do very well with the other experiments I ran. Better, in fact, than Seed Dance and Nano Banana. So the next prompt I tried to do was testing out the control net. So you can see here the control net that I used. I just used the prompt, apply the pose to the model or apply the pose to the woman. And initially my source image for Quen Edit Plus was a 16 by nine portrait. So it kind of got it here, but it did crop my character. This is also an issue that happens with Nano Banana. So I tried it again by setting the correct parameter and it did a pretty bang up job. If we look at the control and I have almost no faults. The hand is in the right place. She's angled right. The face looks good. The hand positioning was good. I have no complaints other than maybe the bottom of the feet got cropped off. By comparison, this is seed edit, which not do well at all. I've got some weirdness happening in the hand over here. I don't even know where this map is from. And Nano Banana just ignored it completely. I tried it again to see if it was a bug and it just gave me back 
the exact same image. So nano banana, absolute fail. So in terms of setting up your person or character in a pose, edit blows the other two state-of-the-art models completely out of the water. Next, I wanted to see if we could create a ad from a company that I've worked with before just to test the generation and the model's ability to do stuff. So I basically just said, create a amazing ad for this can of mango puree, include ice cream in ad. And this is what we got. So this one was seed edit, pretty decent start. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the way it's handled the text, but overall the image composition looks good. The text looks very good, good font choices, except for this kind of up here. Right, uh, we've got Nano Banana here. And just to keep things consistent, I decided to change it up because my previous one was a portrait one for social media. So we did it again and it did a much better job. I have to say, I actually would use this one on social media. It's a phenomenal ad. So Nano Banana did very well here. And Quen Edit did a pretty decent job too. I, I do like the kind of colors coming out from the can in the background. We do have ice cream on there. There is a grammatical error in Spanish. It says para el mejor helado. So lots of points over there. Uh, but it did do a better job than Seed Edit. However, Nano Banana just completely destroyed the competition on this one. Uh, I then wanted to try a bit of image editing. This is a picture I took in Italy over the summer. And and did not like this electric cabling up here. So I just asked the models to remove it. If we look at the comparisons, the first one we've got here is Quen Edit. And right off the bat, can see that it did remove everything as I asked for. It even went and removed this antenna over here, which I do appreciate. However, it did also recolor my image, which I did not ask it to do. I can see here that the skies are blues. It messed with the saturation. I mean, it does look like a better image, but I'm not very happy about the fact that it decided to edit the colors without checking in with me. Over here, we've got Seed Dance. And like Quinn Edit, it did modify my saturation or brightness slightly. It is slightly lighter over here. Uh, it did remove the light and the cabling, but it did leave the antenna. Wasn't planning to, but I did accidentally use ChatGPT's model. So since I've got it, let's just do a quick comparison and see how it's performing against the other models. And right off the bat, this is a full regeneration of my image. Yes, it did remove the cabling and the light, but it did redraw it. You know, this arrow, I don't even know what's happening here. It looks a lot more painted like, and the angle is also different here. You can see it's got the road, which this image doesn't have. So it's Chad GPT for you. And then finally, we've got Nano Banana. And I'd say this is probably the closest one. Uh, it does look still slightly recolored. Uh, this yellow on the building is not quite the same, but that could be a loss of bit depth. We've got the cable and the light removed and the antenna removed, which I like as well. Okay, next I decided to see if we could get our character Lydia in an anime style. Nano Banana absolutely completely refused to do it. It did give us a kind of like painted look over here, the kind that you see in some mobile games, but that's about it. Seed Dance did a decent job. This is definitely an anime style, looks a little bit more like an anime out of the 2000s or 90s, but it did follow the brief. We didn't specify the era. I do like that the phone here has the anime vibe. I will note that the background is not anime style. So just the character. And then Quen Edit, I think, did a more modern style. And the background is also in the anime style. I actually really like the style that Quen Edit chose. Then to just see if Nano Banana would do a little bit better and give it a chance, I did the same thing. But for the Studio Ghibli style, Nano Banana absolutely ignored the prompt. Seed Dance struggled a little bit with the body shape. Uh, you know, she does look a little bit wide over here. So not too thrilled with that. And again, ignored the background. And Quen Edit did a phenomenal job, very aesthetically pleasing and got the background as well. So even though Quen Edit struggled at first, it has won on a few of these comparisons. Next, I took the same image and I asked the models to see if it could give me a front, back and side view. Not a banana nailed this straight up. It did keep giving it to me in a portrait format. I wanted it in a wide format. That's probably because the original image was in that format. So we've got her here standing backwards and on the side. Seed Dance did not give it to me. It just turned her around and it also kind of messed up her face a bit. And Quinn Edit gave me a drawn Ikea style. So kind of half fulfilled the prompt. I do like that the bag is over here with the phone, 
but not in the photorealistic way. You probably could have gotten it maybe if we had said make a model sheet of this person and keep it photorealistic. In fact, you know what? I might just try it and see what it comes out. But using the exact same prompt, that is what we got. I tried it again and we got something like this. And again, it keeps reverting to this drawn IKEA style. I, I tried seed dance again. And it kind of gave it to me this time, but it could not keep the face consistent. And then I tried again. We got the backgrounds and all of them this time, but it's really struggling. I gave Nano Banana another chance to give me a wide one and it nailed it. Didn't give it to me wide, but it nailed the concept. And that's my first impressions of Quinn Edit. I think when it fits into the scope of the existing edit models, having all three of them available is actually going to be the way to go because some of them have some strengths compared to others. And you'll probably end up needing to try them all out and see which one gives you the best result for whatever task it is that you're trying to do. Fortunately, I've got them all over here on KaijuGen. So if you want to play around with more than one, especially if you know, you've got a limited GPU, you don't want to keep loading and unloading the models, please do feel free to come by and check it out. This is especially useful when creating long form content, first frame, last frame. I've got them for one, I've got them for Kling. The new Kling model, which also just dropped, like I said, it just doesn't stop. It is also going to be on Kaiju Jet tomorrow. Thanks so much. I hope you guys found this helpful, even if it was just a quick video. I wanted to dive a little bit deeper, but I've got Comic-Con tomorrow. It's coming to my town, so I kind of get ready for that. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. It massively helps me out. And it helps me out even more if you decide to try our Kaiju Gen or you decide to help me out over on Patreon. Your help makes a massive difference and helps me keep making these videos. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.